-hmm. Okay, here's some of the stuff we're gonna be using. Some black pepper, some garlic powder, some heavy whipping cream, Creole, onion powder, minced garlic. These are all the same seasonings that I used already for the meat. Um, except the heavy whipping cream. Then we got some potatoes right here. We got one egg. We got two pie crusts. Some vegetables. We got some onions. That's a half an onion. We got one third cup of flour. And we got some butter. So I have about five potatoes here. I'm not going to use all these. I've already boiled them. So they're already soft. So we're just going to cut it down the middle. And we're going to cut it again. We want little pieces like this. Let's go. So this is what our meat is looking like. I have a whole nother video on how I did the meat and it will be in the description below. I'll link it below, but just showing you that the meat is ready and we're about to go ahead and shred it and get it ready for the stuffing. So we have about three teaspoons of butter. We're gonna drop in our onions. And we're just gonna saute that until the onions pretty much sweat down. So now we're gonna start adding our flour. This is about one third cup of flour, but you will see me add, um, you might see me add more here and there. So just go ahead and add your flour. This basically we're gonna make gravy. So I just add it in in pieces and until I can get it broken down like this. So now I'm just gonna add in my uh, broth. You can use chicken broth or beef broth. I'm using beef broth just because I like the flavor better with the chicken. Something like that. So you're just gonna keep adding it and keep mixing it up until it gets to like this consistency and make sure you turn it down to medium or low. And then I'm just gonna add a little bit of heavy whipping cream. And then I'm just gonna mix that up as well. So once it gets to this consistency, I'm gonna add some more. Like I said, because I don't like mine that thin. When you continue to add um, liquids, it, it thins it out. So I'm just using a fork right here just to beat in the flour. And now this is kind of like how I like it. So I'm just gonna add some minced garlic, two Ooh. teaspoons of minced garlic, and then now I'm just gonna season it. Black pepper. And don't forget, I will have all the seasonings linked in the description below as well. Powder. And make sure y'all just season it real good because it just will taste like nothing if you don't season it. And you can taste test it to see like if you like it or if it needs more. So now I'm just adding everything in. I'm adding in some frozen veggies. I'm adding in the chicken and now I'm adding in my potatoes. So the pot was getting full. I just put it in a bowl and I just mixed it there, which made it easier. I went ahead and cleaned up my pot because I'm going to use it again right now. Just put some butter in it. Put your pie crust. Um, one of your pie crusts, we're going to put it at the bottom. And the stove should be off right now. It should not be on because we're going we're gonna to put this in the oven. And then you're just going to add your stuffing. 
get it smoothed out and then you're just going to put the top pie crust on top and now we're just going to fold in those pieces once we get it all folded in i'm just going to use a fork and press it out just so it can look just that like your egg. pot pie and now i have an egg with a sprinkle of water and i'm just gonna put it over the top cut some slits in it and now we're gonna put it in the oven on 350 for about 45 minutes and i'm not wasting that egg so i went ahead and cooked it and this is how it came out y'all super simple super easy super good make sure that y'all like comment and subscribe and follow for more